What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a really interesting break for you. Uh, Topps Allen & Ginter retail packs. We actually have two types. The first that we're gonna open is this Allen & Ginter 2019 blaster box. Uh, it comes with seven packs plus an extra pack that I believe contains some sort of parallel for the set. Uh, and then we have over here two of the value packs. These are $10 a piece which means that you're a little bit overpriced for the individual packs if that's all you're counting. They usually retail for about $2.99, so $3 a piece. That extra dollar goes towards three exclusive gold parallel cards, which are gonna be interesting to see. Usually pretty hit or miss, but for a dollar, it's kind of worth picking them up. Uh, these packs look pretty normal, so we'll see if we got any major, major hits out of them. I'm pretty doubtful. So if you haven't heard about this set, which is uh, pretty unlikely, but if you haven't, it's one of the top sets that people buy every year, it sells really well, people really like it. It's a, a year after year kind of classic type of set, but it's not your normal baseball sets. While you'll see a bunch of baseball on it and baseball players and all that sort of stuff, it's uh, very much not your normal baseball set. It's the most wide ranging set in that even though it has baseball, uh, it also has inserts for top horses and weird tools. And I think there's one for uh, Metro cards and passes and stuff. So it's very, very eclectic. You could pull pretty much anything from these boxes. Literally anything that you could imagine is in these. I think they even have cards for presidents or something at this point. It's kind of crazy. Uh, but if you can get through all those different cards, there are also some really cool baseball cards, including one or two uh, that I think are hobby box exclusive called uh, Rip It cards or something along those lines, where they actually dare the opener to rip the card in the hopes that there's a, an even better miniature card inside, which is a pretty common theme. Not the ripping, but the miniature cards. Uh, there's a lot of them in this set. Really, really interesting stuff. So you can get autos uh, on both the bigs and the miniature cards, you can get memorabilia on both, and there are also framed cards. So let's just dive right into it. I'm excited to see what's in these boxes. Uh, hopefully we get some good stuff. All right, so 48 cards total, seven packs, six cards per pack, and then that extra pack. Let's see if the extra pack is labeled at all. That would be nice, assuming it actually is uh, some sort of thing. Here's what it looks like. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, so I got this pack uh, below price because for some reason it wouldn't scan at Target. So instead of the normal price tag, they gave it to me for about $5 off, which was kind of nice. Uh, so here is your look, if this is your first look. The packs feel really good. They don't feel like regular playing card packs. Uh, they're a bit waxier in nature, but they're not like wax pack, wax packs. And we got all of the packs here, all eight of them. And uh, it looks like they are in fact all just the same packs. So there are no special inserts in the blaster boxes as far as I can tell. If you wanna see some of the stats, they are there. And let's just get to cracking. I haven't opened any of this yet, uh, so I'm just as new to it as some of you guys, maybe. All right, uh, Mariners, Martinez, Fisk, Reigns, oh, mini card, Freeman, Atlanta, Tops, Allen, and Ginter. Pretty cool little mini card. We'll make a separate pile for those. And this is what I mean by it. it's kind of an eclectic set. Um, these are baseball players' astrological signs. Uh, so this isn't nearly as eclectic as it gets, but it's uh, it's up there. Make a separate pile for inserts, base cards. So a couple cool, interesting cards. Um, I'm not too worried about pulling hits out of this stuff, even though you know it's a high likelihood we could. Here you go, Mullen uh, skateboarder for a base card. Uh, Gwyn. Ginter Greats, the greatest to ever hold a bat and ball. Cool little insert. And here's what we mean, new to the zoo. It's a card uh, of a zebra. 
that that's the card not at all related to baseball uh profar grank so there's some cool stuff wow the uh the card stock on this set is really nice too i'm i'm pretty impressed they're not at all thick cards uh but the cards feel really nice like texture wise i don't know how to explain it uh gray Fallon, the former frontman and principal songwriter for the rock band The Gaslight Anthem. Okay. Uh, Lasorda. We actually have a baseball miniature. I think this is framed. This is not framed. So this is LeMayhew. And uh, incredible equipment. This is one of the weird little inserts. So you can actually get some of these in memorabilia cards or artifact cards, as I believe they call them. So Don Quixote's Lance. And a little bit on the back about it. Really nice design. Really, really nice design. And Brett. Uh, so this is an interesting set, if I remember correctly. It's a base set of 350 cards with about another uh, 50 base cards in the miniature form that are inside those Ripit cards. And everything from... Uh, 1 to 300 is normal printed, rookie card. And everything from 351 to 400 is short run. And there are absolutely no cards uh, between 301 and 349. So 276. Jansen. And Mare's Stallions. A horse. Lugo, rookie card. I may have missed another rookie in here. I feel like I probably did. Uh, nope, no rookies. Let's see if anything short run. 58, 272. So this would be a short run card. 124. That's a short run card. 109, 170, 276. Okay, cool. Uh, these are both short runs. So we'll put those over here. They also have arrowhead cards, uh, where pretty much you, they're exactly what they sound like. You get a, a retro like artifact arrowhead. Octavio. Snell. I believe we already got a Snell. Span. Limited run. K-Line, he's a Sagittarius apparently. That's pretty cool. Span again and a Soto. Next pack, we have a Hosmer, a Newman rookie card, a Murray card, a Ginter Greats McCovey, Nice little insert. And a beagle. That one's a dog this time. That's pretty nice. And a Perez. So I have no idea uh, what the resale value of these are, but I assume it's okay for what it is. Uh, we have Jameson. In the Reno Minor League, Dawson, Sale, and Cragen. That's a limited run. We have Poseidon's Trident, another incredible equipment card. Pretty cool. And a Rookie McNeil, number 203. Okay, this is the last pack of the Blaster Box. So far, nothing crazy. Uh, I would not expect that to change. I don't even think we, oh, okay. Maybe there is something, maybe I spoke too soon. Rookie card, Kuner Falfa, Blatt Strasburg, uh, oh, it's just a history of flight. So this is just another insert, uh, pretty cool looking but not really worth anything. 
rookie card Sheffield and a Mercer. Numerous prominent characters in animation and video games have been voiced by Mercer, including Luke Skywalker. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, eclectic little set, as I said. So now we are going to move into these value packs. So three packs uh, and then three exclusive gold parallel cards. Okay, backwards pack, that's fine. All right, let's start with these since they're see-through, unfortunately. Uh, you can't really keep them a surprise. So they do come with a kind of white backboard. I think that maybe so that you can't see through probably. Okay, so we got a Severino, Brown, and Palmer. Very nice. They look cool. All right, packs. Let's see if we get any hits here. So we have a Jeter, Derek Jeter, number 130, Hamleys, the Cubs, Mariners, Ichiro, Robinson. Pretty cool. And a Jackson. He's a Taurus, apparently. Didn't know that. Reggie Jackson is a Taurus. Uh, Aaron. Second pack of this value pack. Verlander. Sister Sobiek, okay. Uh, wasn't expecting this, but it is what it is. Obviously, she plays a little bit of baseball here and there. Knight, looks like an Olympian. Jansen again, 357, another short run. Ginter Greats, Gwyn, Tony Gwyn. And Cabrera. So we're getting a nice little stack of short run players. Final pack of that value pack, Bellinger. 34, Los Angeles Dodgers. Read Foley for the Blue Jays, that's a rookie card. Pedroia, Dustin, limited run. A Mares and Stallions, Allen and Ginter. Kentucky Mountain Horse, that's a good one right there. A dog, Bernese Mountain Dog. And a Olsen. Just wanna make sure I didn't miss any other rookie cards. I don't think I did. Card stock is, uh, it's nice feeling. It's a bit more matte than it usually would be, especially on the back. Um, the back really does kind of feel almost woody in nature, which is kind of cool. So good hits so far. Okay, we're gonna put the golds face down so that we can come back to them. Actually, let's open them now, may as well. Okay, so right off the top, getting a cool, Uh, Tops, Alan Ginter, Oz. We got a Mets Gooden. And a Cespedes for the New York Mets as well. Okay, cool pack. Alan and Ginter, 29. Let's see what we get. Okay, uh, Reese for the Dodgers. Hoskins, Philadelphia Phillies. Carter, Montreal Expos. That's a nice little card. Integrates, Yostrzemki. A polar bear, oh, 
Okay, they're really stepping up their zoo game today. Polar Bears now. And Syndergaard, 44, New York Mets. So what else could we theoretically pull out of these? There's a 1 in 9,626 chance we pull a glossy parallel, because they're 1 of 1, I think. A base short print. So 1 in every 2 packs. We'll have one. I think we've been doing pretty good with those. Base card mini parallels. Uh, Allen and Ginter back. Black borders. We got one of those. That's a 1 in 10. Uh, pretty good stuff there. No chance of getting a printing plate, essentially. And the relic books and so on are really hard. So more black frames would be nice. 1 in 10 packs. And I think we have... 6 plus 8 is so 14, so maybe we'll get one. Uh, Tatis Jr. Rookie card. It's nice. Santana. Carlos Santana. Near Crow. Oh, look at that. Just as we were talking about the possibility of pulling another 1 in 10 black, we got it. Necro. Atlanta Braves. Short run. This is a good back. Uh, New York, Tula Witsky. Another black border. Uh, another, what are they called? History of Flight. Space Shuttle Endeavor. It's pretty cool. And Merrifield, number 144. Okay. Guerrero Jr. rookie card, that's nice. Kane, 38. Ryan, Nolan Ryan, Houston Astros. Chanson, 357. For short run card, I feel like we've pulled a lot of Jansen. Correa, he's a Virgo, apparently, good to know. And Seeger, 235. I may be wrong, but I feel like we pulled a lot of Jansen. There's a Jansen. And, okay, so just the two, but still, for a short run card, two of the same. That's pretty good. Uh, and then rookies, we got some good stuff. Guerrero Jr., Tatis Jr., Reed Foley, Sheffield, Allard, McNeil, Newman, Lugo, and Jansen. Did we get two Jansen? No, no, okay. Uh, over here, a lot of base cards, a lot, a lot of base cards. It's a big set, 350 base cards. Uh, needless to say, pretty huge. Some cool stuff here, but it's, you know, it's really eclectic. So if you're not really into the interesting parts, of the packs, it's not gonna really be up your alley. And then we got the golds, the three, and three. And then we have the collectible canines, which we already showed a couple. Uh, the new zoos, which are, you know, pretty cool. And then we got the Allen and Ginter black borders. of Troy Tulowitzki and Freddie Freeman, which were pretty nice. Uh, the set is really light on alternatives and all that sort of stuff. So, you know, one of one hollows is pretty much your best for base cards. These are one in 10. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the two hits. So overall, uh, it's a really, really interesting set. If you kind of like the eclecticness of it and you like opening packs where you don't really know what you're gonna get, uh, this is definitely for you. It's also on the cheaper side of things, so that could factor into it as well. You can get a lot of packs, and each pack comes with a, a respectable amount of cards. Uh, overall, I like the set. I would recommend the set, and there's you know, no wonder why it sells as well as it does, because uh, it's it's pretty cool. You know, We joke about some of the stuff, like the astrology cards, not really having that much meaning and you know, just being a bit out there. But they add character to the set. And at the end of the day, I think the character for the set is just popping off the cards, which is pretty cool. Something you don't get to see a lot of nowadays.